Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's me, Busy B. Today we got a little something going on today. We got some Mustang action. Now, I've been busy for the past couple days diagnosing the Mustang. Some of you know the Mustang from previous videos. I hadn't done one in so long, it's unreal. But I'm giving you a little update what's going on. Uh, today, I decided to pull the wheel. Well, yesterday, I pulled the tires and wheels off the car. Um, and uh, they, the paint looked like crap. So I decided to sand them down and get them prepped for paint. As you can see that, you know, I got them all ready to go and ready to rock. I got to let these dry real well overnight, make sure the water's done. I just don't feel like getting a towel out tonight and uh, drying them off. Of course, I want them really good and dry. I actually degreased them with Dawn dish soap. I sanded them down. Uh, I did everything possible to get them down to where I can actually paint with them. Um, I got me some spray paint to paint the wheels, and uh, I'll show you the spray paint here in a minute. But here's what we're really going on right now. So come on over here with my camera girl behind the camera. So as you can see, I got the wheels off the Mustang, and uh, I got that going here. But I'll show you what what has been going on with this car. It's set for about three years now. Um, my wonderful cousin. Thank you, cuz, for letting me buy this car. Um, but it's got a few issues with the brakes. I actually pulled the pads off of this yesterday. And those who know brakes very well, what is wrong with this picture? Okay. Do you see what's going on here? The pad is completely gone on this one right here, and I still have a pad here. So I've been told when it does this, your calipers are bad on your vehicle, and they're sticking. So I, I got to replace the calipers, um, the rotors. Let's see. This one was on this side. And if you really look, it is really shot. I mean, it's got grooves in it for, for days, okay? And then also on this side, you know, wasn't really catching all that well. So this is going to have to get replaced. The other side was about the same. Not so bad. But if I'm going to change one, I'll change both. See this one on the back side? It was just about the same as the other one. So you got some really bad grooves. And really, the time you put into turning them, you're better off just buying brand new ones. Um, I got a price and everything. Uh, and <coughs> these I learned there's a different way of pulling them off. I, I just trial and error trying to figure them out, but I slowly got it figured out. And um, the other thing I got is I don't know if I did a video or not, but I actually got the stereo in the car now, so that's a bonus. Uh, Pee Wee had a heck of a time trying to keep the stereo in place, and it used to fall behind the dash, and it drove me batting when I would try to drive the car, try to listen to something, you know, going down the road, and the and then the face fell off, the whole face in the front of the stereo fell off. So that got replaced as well. Now, that being said, so eventually we should have an upcoming video. We don't know when, but I just wanted to tear into this and give you guys a short little vlog uh, of what's going on with the Project Mustang. I finally had some time, and I just wanted to know what everything would cost. Um, I was going to buy some wheels for it, some nice rims, but under under budget right now, I said, well, we'll just paint it, and then um, the spray paint grew legs and walked away, so I really can't show you where the spray paint is. What? Oh, here we go. Aha. So I went with the Dupacolor wheel paint, high performance coating. Uh, it's a restore and restyle. It's long-lasting finish and fast drying are easy to apply. So this is what I got. And we'll see how this looks when we're all sitting down with the wheels. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to use this on the wheels. I got three cans for right now. I figured that'd be more than plenty. But I wanted a, a really good application so it looked nice rather than what was on it before. Because someone used some cheap, cheap paint for a quick fix and they had something like that on the car on the, the front of the car at one time and it looked like uh, plasti dip and actually someone used the same exact paint right here 
on this part of the Mustang and it's starting to really peel. See like right here, it's peeling. All right. So I've got to take this off whenever I decide to paint the car. And um, we've really been looking into options for paint as well. Uh, I'm not going to paint it right away. It's going to be a little bit of time. I got to get an air compressor. I got to get me a paint gun. And then I'm going to set the garage up for a paint booth. Got kind of an idea. Um, thought about laying some plastic up, like making like a wall, and then have it sucking out the air through the back windows of the garage, is what I was thinking about doing. And then uh, as for the Suzuki, she's almost done, guys. We got to find a special mechanic that can work on this bike. Uh, and uh, I found a guy in Avon, so I've said that many times, but there's a, there's a problem where I go to take off. It's like carburetors, power, something. You're in fifth gear, you just can't really get it to take off. It's just like it just sits there, and like, I don't know what to do. And then when you downshift into a, uh, from fourth or fifth, downshift, and it'll take off. So higher RPMs work with that. But back on the Mustang, um, we're slowly getting it done, and then... Um, Hopefully, in the next couple months, I should be driving the Mustang for a, the first time ever, you know, because I basically drove it home, drove it here and there, and then I had to actually park it for the past year because I had no time, no money to fix the brakes. So, that is an awesome thing that I might be able to do that here real soon. I'm excited. And then, um, there's a little bit of engine stuff I got to do here real soon. Um, just basic stuff from it sitting, you know, like uh, hoses and stuff that's dry rotted a little bit. Um, just, you know, and when a car sits for a while, you got to go through all the rubbers and everything and change them out if they look dry rotted. So you got to kind of keep an eye on that as well. And it sat in the yard for a while until I was able to pull it in the garage. So I decided to pull in the garage to keep it good and dry and then go through everything. And the other day I was running, I kept smelling something funky. And I popped the hood and I found the funky smell. It was a dead mouse under the intake, right right between the intake and the injector housing. So that, that metal piece on the 3.8, I had to actually take an air hose and blow all that out and get the dead rat out. It was it was so gross. It was it was cooking a little bit, yeah. But uh but that's what's going on. She is slowly underway. I can't wait. Um, and like I said, we're thinking about repainting her, and I don't know if it could be seen in the camera or not. But the hood, if you look at the hood versus the fender, this is the original fender of this car, and someone had repainted the hood. See, this don't even match. This don't match, that don't match. So there's a lot of pieces on this car that does not match. If someone did a repair on this, I guess it must have had a, had a front end collision of some sort. So the passenger fender isn't the original, the hood isn't original, the bumper isn't original, you know, and there's a few other pieces on here that somebody had changed. And they don't match. And the original color had like a pink hue to it. So I've been looking at paint colors. I'm thinking about doing like a really pretty uh, metallic red of some sort. Something cool. Um, I kind of like what's on the passenger just a little bit. But I want it more sheen to the to the look. Uh, I like how the hood looks actually when it's lights hitting it. But the car is so dirty right now from it sitting. I just decided to just pull it in here start working on it. Then when I get all said and done, make it look good again. So excuse me. But that's what's going on. So if you like this video, please give it a good old thumbs up, you know. And uh, I only have two, so you can give me one, right? So please give me a good thumbs up and comment down below if you have any further questions. Um, and I'm learning as I go, like I always say. And be patient because this has been a long time in the making. Uh, I called the cuz the other day and said, look, I found this out, you know, and... Uh, you know, Pee Wee, we're going to get your baby up and going again. I'm going to be driving it and uh, knowing that, you know, I'm going to take good care of your baby. So we're going get, to get Project Pee Wee Mustang going again. So we'll catch you later. Remember, all things are possible. Peace. I'm going to later. And God bless.